Well, first of all, we've been using this, this term, the Great Reset. Yeah. And the Great Reset is essentially an acknowledgement that the valuations in 2021 were not only unsustainable, but when they corrected, uh, so far it's wiped out two years of, of you know, returns. And uh, companies have reacted by trying to not raise capital. Part of the Great Reset is the idea that in the private markets, where you were previously able to raise capital every 12 months, you now are looking at your multiple compression. And so the average private company today isn't raising money inside of 21 months, mm -hmm. which previously was about 12 months. And there's sort of a resistance to the actual truth of the correction. Now we track, uh, we have an index and we have a data product that tracks valuations based on current bids and asks and pricing. And as of September, valuations were off by over 60%. So think about that for a second. The private markets corrected, you know, bigger and, and more meaningfully than, uh, than the public markets by a lot. And so the For Forge Private Market Index, which was launched earlier this year, tracks the 75 most liquid names. Um, and if you look back, even with that 60% decrease, if you look back four years, the performance of the index outperforms the Russell 2000 and the Renaissance IPO ETF. Mm -hmm. Now more recently, um, in the last 90 day period, we've seen the first advancement of that index for a three month period and we've beaten the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. So there are some green shoots now starting to show up in the market. This conference is happening one day after our earnings call, which was yesterday, and we reported that our volume of trade increased by over 50% quarter over quarter. So there's definitely re uh, green shoots here, but the private market has been slower to recover.